Hey everyone, my name is Aaron Davis and I'm here to give you my predictions for tonight's 2011 TNA No Surrender pay-per-view live from Universal Studios Florida in Orlando, Florida that will air tonight 8 p.m. 7 p.m. Central live and only on pay-per-view. Unfortunately, I won't be here watching the pay-per-view for free online, but I will be in the pay-per-view, not in the pay-per-view, but at the pay-per-view event in person as they are free for uh, Florida residents and if people who don't know that, they can come down to Florida and see these pay-per-views for free. So we're going to go over the matches and my predictions for the outcomes for tonight's pay-per-view scheduled match card. And here we go with the first match. We have Mickey James versus Winter for the Knockouts Women's Championship. I believe Mickey James will retain and find a way to retain the Knockout Women's Championship against the very bizarre Winter. For the Tag Team Championships, it's the Pope and Brother Devon versus the Tag Team Champions Mexican America. Can Pope and Devon coexist with each other and become the Tag Team Champions? Or Mexican America will rule the country as they always do and retain the Tag Team Championships? In my opinion, I believe Mexican America will retain the Tag Team Championships in this bout. For the X Division Championship, it's Austin Aries versus Brian Kendrick. Austin Aries earned his number one contendership back uh, about a month ago, I believe, uh, in a match on Impact Wrestling. And he will be facing Brian Kendrick, who is the current defending X Division champion. Austin Aries has been on fires of late, and I'm a big fan of his, even though people may not like him because of his charisma. But I do think Austin Aries will win the X Division Championship from Brian Kendrick. The final four, match two of the Bound for Glory series, better known as BFG series. Number two in the point standings, Robert Roode versus number three in the point standings, Gunner. And I believe that Gunner will win this match as he has really been just demolishing through this tournament of the Bound for Glory series. And I ultimately think he will end up winning tonight in this tournament and he will be facing either Kurt Angle, Steen, or Mr. Anderson who will be in the Triple Threat main event for the World Heavyweight Championship tonight at Bound for Glory, TNA's biggest event of the year, come next month in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Final four, match number one. This will be the first match of the night. Not first match of the night, but maybe first match of the BFG Series Tournament continuing tonight. Number one in the point standings, Bully Ray versus number four in the point standings and one half of the world's greatest tag team. Well, wouldn't say that, but former TNA Tag Team Champions, Cowboy James Storm from Beer Money Incorporated. I think Bully Ray will win this match, and he will actually go on to face Bully uh, Gunner tonight in the final Bound for Glory BFG Series match tonight at No Surrender. And then he got the World Heavyweight Championship main event. It's Kurt Angle, the defending TNA World Heavyweight Champion, versus the asshole Mr. Anderson versus the insane icon Sting. I do believe Mr. Anderson will win the World Heavyweight Championship tonight, and for... Kurt Angle to possibly lose the World Heavyweight Championship tonight following his DOI arrest excuse me, one week ago, I do foresee that happening, that he will not retain the title tonight due to his DOI arrest and he'll be losing. So Mr. Anderson will win the World Heavyweight Championship tonight at No Surrender. And so those are all the matches for tonight's pay-per-view at No Surrender, but there was one more match that was added, which is Kid Cash versus Jesse Sorensen, number one contenders match for the X Division title. For that match, I can see Jesse Sorensen winning that match. He's a great rookie, and Kid Cash is a veteran in this match, so it's veteran versus rookie, kind of like student versus teacher almost, kind of, but I believe Jesse Sorensen, he's really dominant. He'll win that match, and he's very exciting to watch. Now I got some things to show you. I went to the meet and greet yesterday at the Winter Garden location of Direct All Insurance to meet Brother Devon and Christy Hemi. And here's the poster of that event that took place yesterday. And you could have also registered to win the Ultimate VIP Experience for No Surrender, which I didn't end up winning. And the person who won got one heck of a grand prize. And uh, little flyers that they had there of the, promoting the No Surrender pay-per-view night, as well as the Coastal Impact Wrestling Cruise coming up in a couple months. And an autograph from Brother Devon himself saying, Best wishes, Brother Devon, and P.S. Happy Birthday, because it was also my birthday too. This was my second time meeting Brother Devon, but he possibly couldn't remember me from the first time I met him backstage, which was about over a year ago. And Christy Hemi, very lovely. She put two Aaron super big happy birthday and sign her name and then after I met her a couple minutes later when I was entering to win the grand prize for the No Surrender Ultimate VIP Experience Travel Package which I didn't win uh, she came over and gave me a free Impact Wrestling t-shirt which I already have a lot of those but to get it from her and she said for the birthday boy I thought that was very sweet and the No Surrender pay-per-view poster which is a little different than the standard big huge No Surrender poster I was able to take down the direct on insurance, let me take down because they wanted to keep the big posters uh, and give them back to, I guess, Impact Wrestling. So those are my No Surrender 2011 predictions. And for all of you who are going to No Surrender tonight in Orlando, Florida, I'll see you there. And today is also 9-11, and I want to take a moment uh, to 
my prayers and deepest condolences are with those family members and friends who lost loved ones in the, in the tragic events that happened on 9-11. All right, we will remember and I will never forget. Thanks.